Allah, my brothers, this position that we're in now is something that most of us are not here for the first time. Most of us have been here, we've came before, we've buried our loved ones, but you and I know very well, you know very well that as soon as we jump in our cars, we're going to forget completely about this grave. Like, this is not for me. If I ask any of you now, brother, can you die tonight? Can we come back tonight and bury you? Everyone will say, La ilaha illallah, of course. Death can come anytime, I have no guarantee. But the problem we are all facing, every single one of us is facing, the biggest disease in our hearts is that the truth that we don't say with our tongues is that me and you are for some weird reason confident that this will never happen. This will never happen. I'm going to go home now to my wife, to my children. I have plans for tomorrow. I've already planned for Ramadan. I've planned for Eid. I've planned for Hajj. I've planned for next year. I will see my kids grow up. I will take them to uni. I will marry them off. I'll see my grandkids. This is the biggest shaitan destroying our deen. And wallahi, my brothers, wallahi, in front of our eyes, every single day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us signs. Elders are passing away. Teenagers are passing away. When are we going to wake up? When are we going to realize that wallahi, my brother, wallahi, there is no guarantee. Like the Shaykh said, it's a breath. It's a breath you take in, you inhale, you never know it will come out again. Wallahi, my brothers, death is very, very, very close. And look, my brothers, the shroud has no pockets. This is the end of every one of us. No one takes his house with him or his kids with him or his wife with him. That's it. That's our property. That's all you own in this world. A meter by two meters. That's it. That's the end, my brothers. What's the purpose now? Explain to me now. You know, how a house will benefit this person? How does a wife or a child, how do they benefit? Wallahi, my brothers, we will all face this. This day will come. We will all face this. And we will be put in your grave alone. Now everyone's going to walk. You know, even if we love him so much, the son is going to walk, the children are going to walk away. He's alone now. What's left with him? The Salah in the Masjid he used to pray. The tahajjud he used to wake up for, the dhikr of Allah, the Quran he used to read, the charity he gave for the sake of Allah. This is all your property. Please do not allow shaitan, my brothers, to further trick you, to further fool you. That don't worry, that's time. Don't worry, you become religious, inshallah, one day. Don't worry, you know, uh, uh, there's, still, uh, there's still space for repentance. Wallahi, my brothers, wallahi, we never know. You never know when your death is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows from the day, from the day the angel came to blow, to blow the soul in your ruh, to blow the ruh in you. From that moment, already it has been decided exactly by the second, when will you die? Maybe it's next week. Maybe, maybe one of us here will not make Ramadan. Maybe you won't make Ramadan. Maybe you won't make Eid. Maybe you won't make next year. We have so much work to do. There's so much improvement that we need. There's so much sickness and diseases and haram in our life. If death, if a life example of a loved one dying in front of you, laying down with your own hands, you lay him down with your own hands in your grave. If this doesn't wake you up, then inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Nothing will wake us up.